In late 1823, Hugh Glass guides Captain Andrew Henry's trappers through the territory of the present-day Dakotas. While he and his half-Pawnee son, Hawk, are hunting, the company's camp is attacked by an Arikara war party, seeking to recover their chief's abducted daughter, Powaka. Many of the trappers are killed during the fight, while the rest escape onto a boat. Guided by Glass, the survivors travel on foot to Fort Kiowa, as he believes traveling downriver will make them vulnerable. After docking, the crew stashes the pelts near the shore. While scouting game, Glass is attacked by a grizzly bear and left near death. Trapper John Fitzgerald, fearful of another Arikara attack, argues that the group must mercy kill Glass and keep moving. Henry agrees, but is unable to pull the trigger, instead, he offers money for someone to stay with Glass and bury him after his death. When the only volunteers are Hawk and the young Jim Bridger, Fitzgerald agrees to stay for money to recoup his losses from the abandoned pelts. After the others leave, Fitzgerald attempts to smother Glass but is discovered by Hawk. Fitzgerald, concerned that Hawk's loud reaction to him attempting to kill Glass could alert Bridger, who is away gathering water, stabs Hawk to death as Glass watches helplessly. The next morning, Fitzgerald convinces Bridger, who is unaware of Hawk's murder, that the Arikara are approaching and they must abandon Glass. Bridger protests at first, but ultimately follows Fitzgerald after the latter leaves Glass half buried alive in a makeshift grave. He also leaves his canteen, in which he engraved a spiral symbol, with Glass. After they depart, Fitzgerald admits he lied about the Arikara approaching. When Fitzgerald and Bridger later meet Henry at the fort, Fitzgerald tells him that Glass died and Hawk vanished. Bridger is complicit in the lie about Glass's death, even though he knew nothing of Hawk's. Glass begins an arduous journey through the wilderness. He performs crude self-surgery and eludes the pursuing Arikara by jumping into whitewater rapids. Bridger and Fitzgerald scout a pillaged Indian village. Bridger leaves some food behind for a lone survivor. Glass encounters Pawnee refugee Hickok, who says that revenge is in the creator's hands. The men share bison meat and travel together. As a storm approaches, Hickok constructs a makeshift sweat lodge for a feverish Glass to shelter in. After a hallucinogenic experience in the lodge, Glass emerges to discover his wounds healing and Hickok hanged by French hunters. He infiltrates their camp and sees the leader raping Powaka. He frees her, kills several hunters, and recovers Hickok's horse as Powaka removes her rapist genitals, leaving Bridger's canteen behind. The next morning, Glass is ambushed by the Arikara and driven over a cliff on his horse. He survives the stormy night by eviscerating the horse and sheltering inside its carcass. A frightened French survivor staggers into Fort Kiowa, and Bridger recognizes his canteen as Glass's due to the spiral symbol. Believing it's stolen, Henry organizes a search party. Fitzgerald, realizing Glass is alive, empties the outpost safe and flees. The search party finds the exhausted Glass. Furious, Henry orders Bridger arrested, but Glass vouches that Bridger was not present when Fitzgerald murdered Hawk and was later deceived by the higher-ranking Fitzgerald. Glass and Henry set out in pursuit of Fitzgerald. After the two split up, Fitzgerald ambushes, kills and scalps Henry. Glass uses Henry's corpse on his horse as a decoy and shoots Fitzgerald in the arm. He pursues Fitzgerald to a riverbank where they engage in a brutal fight. Glass is about to kill Fitzgerald, but spots a band of Arikara downstream. He remembers Hickok's words and pushes Fitzgerald downstream into the hands of the Arikara. Elk Dog kills and scalps Fitzgerald in the Arikara spare Glass. Near death, Glass retreats into the mountains where he is visited by the spirit of his wife. 